Hey guys, Brent Rose here for Wired Magazine, and this is my Parrot Anafi review. Um, Parrot is a French company. This drone is a folding drone. It's a little bit lighter than the Mavic Air, but it's also a lot longer when it's folded up, so it's a little bit more awkward to carry. Uh, the remote control is fat and kind of garbagey too, but the footage generally looks pretty good. Uh, it has the usual slew of effects like uh, droney and orbit modes, but it's important to note that there's no obstacle avoidance in this, unlike what you get with DJI drones. So if your droney is uh, heading toward a tree, it's going to end in disaster. Uh, this one turned out fine. Uh, the most unique feature about this drone is that uh, it's got a camera that tilts 180 degrees up and down. Um, and that enables you to get some really unique angles like shooting a slackliner from underneath or uh, go under a jumping snowboarder. Or you can do an effect like this where the camera or drone is rising and the camera is tilting down. Um, I think it's a really interesting perspective shift. Um, and I like it a lot. Um, the other fairly unique feature, although it's showing up in a couple others, is it has a zoom lens, which is called a lossless zoom, but if you look closely, those details definitely get kind of soft in there. Um, we'll get back to that in a second. But it does enable you to do the Hitchcockian dolly zoom effect, where uh, the background seems to be moving while the subject in the foreground uh, stays more or less the same size. Uh, it's a really cool effect. Um, the Mavic 2 Zoom can do it now as well. Um, now another feature they brag about here is uh, HDR video 4K. Um, this is normal mode. See when you zoom in it gets a little bit noisy. Now, good god, what is that? Uh, the HDR just looks so bad. Uh, when you zoom in especially, you can see tons of noise, and the colors are just way off. Um, this is normal mode, flying through a forest, and again, no obstacle avoidance, so this was sketchy as hell. Um, and now we're going to switch to HDR mode, and the sun and the trees look kind of cool this way, but the grass, again, like, same with the last shot, it's so oversaturated and kind of pukey green, it's, uh, it's not ideal. Um, just one last shot here, uh, rising up with the sun in the background. So there's not a whole lot of detail in the shadow, but you could probably bring that out in post if you want. And here's the HDR version. And the trees actually look pretty decent here, but now the sun is completely blown out and all the mid-ground is sort of washed out. Anyway, that's my review. Um, the Anafi is about 100 bucks cheaper than the DJI Mavic Air, but the Mavic Air is just a much better drone. Anyway, you should read my full review on Wired.com to uh, learn all about it. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.